Hi. So Timothy Wilde asked, is learning the Om for divination similar to how one learns tarot? And having some experience with both tarot and the Om for divination, um, I'm going to give the really like helpful answer of yes and no. Because it depends on how you use the Om and how you want to use the Om. Okay, so the simple answer is you can just, you know, kick off with Om staves or Om cards or something. Here's some like really basic ones. And they're just on, um, they're just on like little record cards, you know. And you could just like learn them. Um, let me see, there is. Uh, Aaron's book, um, Om Wisdom. I'm not showing that properly. There, Om Wisdom um, by Aaron Rowan Laurie. Uh, it does give quite detailed instructions about how to use the Om for divination. And I do recommend that if you want to just get started. Okay. And you can just get started. Or you can get sticks like, um, I mean, I've seen everybody, I've seen people use things from like lollipop sticks you know that you can use for crafting and just like use a sharpie and just uh, draw the ohm onto it um i've also seen you know quite elaborate sets where you get uh you align you know one of the woods now there's a couple of choices and that's that's a little bit more complicated there isn't just one tree per ohm so maybe i'll make a different video on that but um, you can associate a wood, a particular wood, with each ohm, with a little bit of a uh, fluffing around with it, and you can then, you know, use a piece of that wood to make your ohm stave, and then either carve or draw or paint uh, the ohm onto it. And they're usually called a, a fuse, or you know, just just rods or staves. Um, so people use the om in different ways for divination and then there is a like you can associate meanings then and interpretations with each one so you can it's it's more similar maybe just to get back to the question it's more similar maybe to drawing lots um you know as we would see in divination systems such as the i ching maybe um because there is a history of there's there's quite a, a well documented history of divination by lots among Celtic people, so uh, Celtic tribes. So um, so that would be where that system would be based if you're going to use it just simply for divination. Now, the more complicated answer is, and the way I use the OM, is that is a little bit more similar to the tarot, actually, and how I would have used the tarot, because the tarot, the original tarot decks are highly symbolic. I wish I have actually just grabbed one. Um, I have quite a few, just not to hand. But if you take, for example, the Rider Waite tarot deck, and you know the art was done by Pamela Coleman Smith, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the artist's name. So you have the Rider Waite tarot deck, and you have these, you know, nice pictures on cards. But like a lot of a lot of modern people will look at the uh, the tarot decks and they'll want something prettier you know they want something that's more in line with their freaking celtic shamanism or whatever the bollocks they're talking about but they um they don't understand maybe or don't care maybe that uh, every single element every single detail that that artist put into the rider weight tarot deck is there for a reason so it's highly symbolic and each tarot card um, is speaking to your subconscious um, every time you look at it and is telling your brain a story or telling your spirit a story. And, you know, to just kind of, to just take them as pictures, um, you know, with just a simple meaning or a simple explanation, you can use the tarot that way. You can use the ohm that way for divination. But it's much better to really go in depth with each individual ohm uh, fee uh, is the singular or feda is the plural um, which is the individual ohm character and each one of those i believe is a key to 
again a much bigger world of symbolism and there that's where our you know our breher ohm come in that's where our uh, lists of ohm associations come in um because i think that there's a lot that those letters are representing and they are actually keys to a much bigger picture similar to the tarot so only better obviously because it's um so you know that's that's actually why funnily enough that's why i started the om journeys program because i really wanted to kind of move away from that not move away from it it's, it's okay to start with like a simplistic kind of interpretation and to learn the om in that way and to um to get your feet onto you with just you know this is the celtic tree om and you know these are the this is the celtic tree calendar and, and all that kind of stuff that is absolutely fine for you know starting off and some people never go further than that and that's fine too and that's not to to pass judgment or or dismiss um, anybody's experience in that way but the reason that i started the om journeys course is to give an option or an opportunity which hasn't been there before as far as i know i've certainly never seen it because i was looking <laughs> so it wasn't there so i had to create it um to literally develop a relationship with each of these ohms so that when you are when you do get to divination when you do get to um you know to practical use of the ohm you have that whole world that is associated with that ohm and and that ohm becomes the key to opening that and in my program i do that through through journeying but also then through you know spending a week with each ohm and really having a lot of like exercises and interaction and you know as well as just reading about that ohm you know and obviously we do that too but there's just so much more to it and i believe that that is the the true value of the ohm so that is absolutely applicable to divination then because obviously the deeper and stronger your relationships are with each individual ohm and with the you know the spirit of ohm generally because i do believe that that's a thing too um you have a much clearer channel then that emboss or you know wisdom can or knowledge can pass through much more cl uh, clearly as i said and much more easily so hopefully that's helpful um and i will add links to the own journeys program down in the description so if anybody wants to join up or register your interest or anything like that you of course are very welcome and you can learn more about the own that way and you know give the video a like uh, subscribe become a fan wherever you're listening to this or watching it and um learn more about the own and i will share more own resources as we are going along okay so long before.